Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to do selective color using DaVinci Resolve. So first of all I'm going to drag my clip into my media pool and then we're going to go to edit and then I'm just going to drag that clip onto the timeline to create a new sequence and then we're going to go to the color tab at the bottom. Alright so first of all I'm going to create a new node, add node and corrector and I'm just going to slot that in and um, on this first corrector I'm going to go to the qualifier panel and uh, basically we're going to try and uh, isolate the yellow from the image and make everything else black and white. So with your qualifier selected I'm just going to click anywhere in the yellow area just to select that color and then I'm just going to invert that so you click this button here to invert that and then I'm going to change my saturation down to zero just to um, get an idea of what I'm working with. So as you can see currently um, it's looking all right but we have a lot of gray areas that actually need to be yellow so I'll show you guys quickly how to fix that. Um, so first of all, your um, saturation, you can adjust the low and the high to just select the whole spectrum of that yellow uh, saturation from very dull to very saturated. And the same with the luminance, I'm just going to change this low value all the way down so that we're selecting the darker yellows and then also the high, higher yellows. Okay, and then I'm going to change the width of the U, so I'm just going to expand that a bit. And you can see that it's starting to select some of the whites as well. And obviously now I can play with the center as well to just slide this across. So you want to try and eliminate much of the brown because obviously brown is pretty close to yellow. So I'm just going to adjust the center and slide it across so that we're kind of only selecting the yellow in this picture. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to adjust the width a little bit more and the center a little bit more. Okay, so that's looking good. You can see we've got a little bit of spill here on the brown table, but I'll show you guys now how to fix that issue. So let's just scrub through here quickly. And that's looking pretty cool. So I'm gonna create another node, right click, add node and corrector. And let's just slot that in as well. And um, now I'm going to show you guys how to draw a power window around this area to isolate it even more. Okay, so click on your power window tab and then click on the polygon tool. And I'm just going to drag a very rough uh, mask around this area that we actually want to use. So you can obviously add more points here, just like that to kind of isolate it even better. Something like that. And then we're going to invert that window. Of course we want to change the saturation of everything around it, that's why I invert it. And then we're going to go to the tracking panel and we're going to track forward. Okay, as you can see the tracking is not that great, you can see it actually moved off. And uh, let me show you guys how to fix that. So obviously we are busy working on the node number 3, so under corrector number 3 here, just scroll down. Um, if you can't see this, just make sure that your keyframe panel is enabled here. And then we're going to go down to our polygon window and just click on this little diamond to enable keyframes. And then you can just start to adjust these little keyframes. So let's just go back to our first frame and uh, just adjust these as well. Something like that. And then let's go to the end again and let's just start uh, adjusting these uh, points to create some keyframes. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's just scrub through this. As you can see, that's looking already a lot better. So you can go in here and just add some keyframes. And um, then we're basically going to just drop the saturation down to zero again. And that will basically get rid of any little artifacts that's maybe on the table or anywhere else in the scene. So if I boost this quite a bit, you can see there's some artifacts there and maybe on this white as well here. So if you drop that down to zero, then that will eliminate all those artifacts. Okay, lastly, I'm going to create another node, also a corrector, drop that in. And on this node, you can basically just adjust your contrast. Let's just give it a little bit of contrast and you can maybe adjust the saturation as well to just make the yellow pop a bit more. Uh, maybe that's a bit much. And um, yeah, let's just play through this and see how it looks like. Cool, and that's how easy it is to create a selective color effect using DaVinci Resolve. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new weekly tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.